Hey, it's Nikki Paris, and I'm here with LATV for the final chapter of This Is Us, premiering January 4th on NBC. I'm going to be chatting with the cast, the creatives, and finding out how many tissues I'm going to need when this final season premieres. I'm already crying. Look at him. Look at him. I know. Eat a hamburger. No, he looks amazing. <laughs> I, <laughs> All he does is eat hamburgers. <laughs> how much am I going to cry this season? Well, it depends on how much in touch you are with your emotions. I'd like to think you are. You're probably going to cry a lot. I'm going to get a membership to Costco, just to be prepared. I mean, I think it depends if you have a, 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 a lump of black coal in your heart or if you're if you're a, you know, a, a nice, kind, loving person. I think if you're a good person like you, mm -hmm. I think you'll probably cry a lot. I'm very emotional. I took a mite all before I got here, just to make okay. sure. Good for you. I'm sure you guys look a little bit more glamorous than we do at home. At home, I have boogers coming out of my nose. I totally watch the show and I get emotional. Do you cry watching it back? Yes. This is what I love about straight men. It's very casual attire, very Patagonia, very much. I just got here on a canoe after looking at the Adirondacks and petting deer. I love what you're wearing. Oh, you look great. I'm comfortable. I just was working all day. Came off set. But only you could really make comfortable look this good. This is what I wish my hair looked like. So how do you get oh. it to look like this? Uh, you sleep on it. Really? Not a joke. So Michael Wright's my hair guy on the show. He'll text me to say, hey, could you please reset your hair? And I could be out with friends. I could be with my parents. I could be working out. I could be on a date. It could be wherever. And I'm like, uh, excuse me, uh, I got to go home and reset my hair. And they literally laugh at me because I have to go home and reset my hair. When you? You look so good. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Well, it's nice. It's nice to, uh, uh -huh. to you know, wear a bit of a winter number. I yeah. feel like I'm about to do a Christmas song. I really can't stay. <laughs> I can't stay. Yeah. cold I'm outside. Just run. Thank you. <laughs> Polite too. What are you wearing or who? <laughs> Think this from H&M? No. I'm telling you, we classy, you okay. know? I've never seen H&M look this good, and that's coming from somebody who shops at H&M. You know, fashion isn't about expense, you know? Fashion is just about how you put it down, so. Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love the hat. Oh, thank There's you. There's always something very, like, demanding about somebody in a hat. Do you feel like that sometimes? Maybe. I mean, I'm wearing a hat because my hair is doing its own thing today. Prove it. No, I'm just kidding. You know? I mean, and he still looks great. Don't you hate when people do that? How are you? I'm well. You look dapper. Don't I though? <laughs> and he's humble too, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> are you, how are you feeling? Are you emotional? What are you going through right now? What's going through your head right now? Are you hungry? Because I am. Yeah, no, apparently there's going to be food. Yeah. You look incredible, Thank first you. of all. You just have one of those presents like you stepped up there and everybody looked at you. Do you ever feel like that? No, okay. not at all. But for you, it's in a good way. For me, I have like toilet paper on the bottom of my shoe and it's like, I'm like, wow, I'm really hot. And the people are like, no, there's Charmin wrapped around your bottom shoe and that's not good. Oh no. I'm here with the fabulous Eris Baker. We're just posing, but it's what models do. It's Look it up, okay? Do. And Chris, you look great. I mean, look at the shoes. Can we get the shoes? I mean, what inspired your sense of style? Along the waterfront, yeah. you know, slash biker gang, slash undercover sea captain. I don't know. <laughs> it's very Harley Davidson chic. Yeah. You look incre incredible. So you're, we know you're a great actor, but a fashionista? Thanks. That I didn't know. And thank yeah. you for showing us that tonight. You got it. Everybody told me that you have a sweet tooth and you love to eat. I eat a, I get a donut every day. I love it. I can't get enough. I have hamburgers all the time. How yeah. many cavities have you had this year? How do you relate to your character? You know, anytime you have dreams or aspirations, whether it's having a child or finding the love of your life, you know, like all of that, like I think she is all of us. I think the show as a whole has taught people to communicate, which is a wonderful thing. I got a lot of people in the streets that will talk about like, hey, I, I actually, I got a chance to like talk to my mom. Hey, I hadn't talked to my brother in years. And I think there's so many wonderful things that this show has given to people. I'm assuming growing up you didn't see a lot of, you know, Latin representation in mainstream media. We're seeing quantity of representation. I'd like to see a little more quality of representation. Things have been changing. I've seen it, I've been in the business now for 26 years and I've seen it change. Uh, I'm not gonna say night and day, but like, you know, day and dusk. You know what I'm saying? Let's just get to the night. What have you learned about yourself through playing Nick? That uh, I guess I look older than I really am. You know, I play a 70 something year old guy and I'm not quite there yet. And I don't use much makeup. Um, but <laughs> That has to hurt. Yeah, it does, it does. Everybody like else. a word with hair and makeup? If they did a movie, would you be in? Everyone's talking about this movie. Yeah, I'm in. Can you imagine that? This is us movie. That's happening. Yeah. That. Make us cry in a theater. Make us cry at a regal. <laughs> Forget crying at home. Now you're going to buy a ticket and cry from the theater.